Yo, what's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger, and I'm back today with another episode of my brand new series here for Call of Duty. It's my 10 favorite guns in the history of Call of Duty, where I'm going back and playing old COD titles and uh, showing you my 10 favorite guns. They are not in any order, but just 10 guns that I picked out throughout the series, uh, ranging from Modern Warfare all the way up until Black Ops 2. And again, this is the second episode. If you missed the first one, we played a little Call of Duty 4, the first Modern Warfare, and the gun we used was the AK-47. So if you missed that episode, or if you missed any episodes in this series, there is a link down in the description below. It'll give you the playlist so you can see all 10 episodes once they are complete. And uh, in today's episode, we went back and played some Modern Warfare 2. And the gun of choice today, which is coming in at number two on my list, is the TAR-21. And this was definitely, definitely a must-pick in my top ten. This is a gun I used a lot in Modern Warfare 2, and I spent a lot of hours playing this game. So, um, normally, my preference in this gun would be Sleight of Hand Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and Sit Rep Pro. Uh, but in this gameplay... I'm using Scavenger. Normally when you go for nukes or when I'm playing domination games or just games that have a long, uh, a longer period of time, I like to go with Scavenger, but I would say my choice or, or my, um, my preference would definitely be sleight of hand because once you get that pro uh, version to it, you get the aim down sights faster. And I played a lot of free for all um, and I, I didn't really get a good free for all example. Uh, for you guys today, so I ended up going with some domination, but um, it's definitely a nice gun because it's so fast-paced You can aim down your sight quick you reload quick and if you like to run and gun um, With this gun I definitely recommend the sleight of hand pro and uh, the attachment I'm rolling with in this ooh, look at that triple feed uh, But the attachment I'm rolling with in this gameplay is the silencer I would say that's what I use nine times out of ten sometimes I'll throw on extended mags, but um I don't know, I just like, I don't like when people can hear my gun and know exactly where I am. Um, so, uh, this was a pretty good gameplay, I got it this, this past week, and I, I tell you man, I really did enjoy this game when it was out. I know it had a lot of BS that happened, um, but I, I've definitely put in like over 30 days of gameplay on this one, um, on this, on this game. And, uh, just going back and playing it, if you can get into a game that's not hacked, or it doesn't have, you know, just bullshit going on like God Mode and things like that. This is ga this game is still a lot of fun to play. Um, we're obviously, like I said, playing a little Domination on sub zero. Nope, Sub-Base. I almost called it Sub-Zero. Um, but I, I am going for a nuke here. We got the Chopper Gunner, and I did fast-forward through it just a little bit because, you know, I'm honestly, I'm pretty terrible when it comes to the Chopper Gunner. I'm not able to get a lot of kills when I'm in it, so... Um, but yeah, the series has been a lot of fun. I've been going back and playing older Call of Duties. The only challenge to it is almost all of them are hacked now. I'd say Black Ops is probably the only one that's not. Um, but, it, you know, so it is tough to get it. Well, Modern Warfare 3 might not, but I haven't went back and played that one yet. But anyways, it is tough finding a lobby where there's uh, straight up players and, and no madness nonsense going on. Um, but leave it in the comments, guys. The first episode of this did really well. Um, you know, it was a series that I kind of thought of and just wanted to switch it up uh, because Black Ops 2 had begin. You know, it's starting to get so stale to me. Um, but I, I was really surprised by the the amount of views that the first video got. So it makes me more excited to uh, to show you guys the rest of the series as we get the nuke. And uh, we're going to hear the nuke uh, incoming sound just because that just brings back memories too. I know for uh, for me it definitely did when I hear it, just the excitement of, you know, a nuke being called in. But uh, anyways, make sure you click the thumbs up on this video if you did indeed enjoy it and you like this series. And uh, stay tuned, we'll be back with the third episode. I'm not sure what gun we'll be using quite yet, but uh, I definitely look forward to bringing it out to you guys. Peace. Nuke ready for launch. Oh no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no.